to me. I'm down here. Look in the corner. I'm down here. That's a video. So if you are on the chat, um, drop your name because sometimes I can't see all the chats that come in. And if you're on LinkedIn Live, you'll you'll need to uh, click on the sound. So let me let me get that video off because that's I'm having some I'm having some fun today. So I wanted to show you guys this because I was just looking around for team leads and I found a, a list of different things. So hopefully you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Hey jumper, how does how's it going? Um yeah. So I, I have some time between calls, so I wanted to just jump on here and show you guys this. Let me make this bigger so you can see. Wait, it looks and sounds like I'm doing okay on the audio. If I sound weird, somebody let, let me know. So, and actually how I found this is on my other screen here. Um, I'm, I'm running multiple computers. How did I find this? Yeah, so I actually was doing a simple search just because I'm looking for tech leads right now. And I was looking for conferences, but I was like, I just want attendees. So I just, hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully I'm not slamming down the computer too much because the microphone is right by the keyboard. But if you just do a simple Google search, tech lead, tech lead attendees is what I'm looking for, right? So I have a, a bunch of different tech lead conferences, lead Innov innovation summit. That's a blog. So I'm, I'm looking for mainly Java engineers and stuff. So this is typically how I just do a search and I'll find developer first tech leadership. That was one of the other ones I found. And through this, I was able to come across this older conference for standard Stanford libraries. But if you see here, we've got a software engineer, we've got some technology specialists. And since this was all the way back in 2015, these folks have probably moved on and become different things. So um, that looks like a specific website from for people, the company websites. So it's like it might California Digital Library. That's California. Let's see, yes, here's Stanford stuff. So a lot of times people ask me, well, what do you do with this? Well, I'll scrape it. Where is my instant data scraper? It's that that button right there. I can't make that any bigger. I'm sorry, guys. And it pops up this little window here. And boom, I've got all that, right? I don't have URLs, but I can put this in. I can either shortlist this, find the folks that would be viable or somewhat viable, like this software developer. Um, there's some some heads here, and what I want to. So I I've got this list right here, and it only took me a couple seconds. Now, if I want to take it a step further, everybody's asking me about data miner. I can also scrape this with data miner. And it's too bad I don't have URLs here because that would be easier to show a crawling function. Maybe one day I'll do that. And you're, uh, Eric, you're, you're trying to to scrape it with a scrape career builder with it because you can do that, but you can also with career builder, you can pull the, the email. So you, that may not be worth your time unless you're like me and like data. Let me actually pull this over here. Okay. So a lot of times there is not anything built. So I'll show you how to do this. And I like data miner because I can customize things. I want to, the screen's kind of close to me. So I want to do a page. I want to list multiple rows. This is a list scraper. 
I want to identify the columns. I don't think we need the page. Set up page for scraping. I think that's a new action. I don't need that. Easy row finder. Uh, select what you want to scrape. It may not work because it looks like it's in different columns. Or I might have it's a data scraper open. One. One. No, I want all of it. I want all of it. I want all of it. Let me take this off. Let me find this again. Scraper on a scraper. Hey, that's not what I wanted. Scraper on a scraper. I just want that. Data miner. Yeah, and and Eric, the thing with um, crew builder is that you have you have emails and phone numbers typically because they, they pull resumes off of Career Builder. So you can text and email. You can actually bulk email from Career Builder. I need to get back in it actually. Let me see if this helps. Sometimes when you build a scraper within a scraper, it doesn't always work. It's like copy of a copy. Of course, nobody's built a recipe for this. Jerry, you're watching me two places at once. You only need like one platform to watch this. You don't have to go so meta. You're so meta. Okay. Well. Oh, well, that actually worked. Great. Okay. So what I did there is I selected one row and pushed one, and I selected the second row and pushed two. And the cool thing about data miner is that you don't have to customize as much. It does a lot of the thinking for you, but you still have to kind of map out the columns and the rows. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm mapping out the columns. So I want this to be first name. And I want to use my ease and column finder and then push C because I'm just pulling out the text. And I select what I want, confirm. Okay, I want to add another column. Last. Click on easy column finder, select what you want, push C, select what you want again. And so you're seeing I'm building out these columns one at a time. Instant data scrape does this automatically, but this comes into play when you have different websites. This comes into play when you have things that that do, doesn't parse well on with instant data scraper, or if you're like me and looking for specific stuff, you can customize it. I need to change the, I need to change the name of that. That is a uh, title. I should use position title since I'm, I'm kind of an average or nut, average or nut. Okay. And this is the company it looks like. And I, in case you noticed, in case you didn't notice, I clicked the recipe creator over here so I could see what I was looking at. Uh, that is company and easy column finder. And I'm going to pick that one. Sure. And I'll, I'll just get the company URL. Just, just for, um, just for fun. Okay. Now, one of these things up here is you you select text URL, image URL, stuff like that. If it if there was a link here, like if there was a LinkedIn icon and it had a link attached to it, you could search for the URL and sometimes it'll pull the URL. Since the URLs are already put into text, that's why I'm selecting text. Just a little bit of of a snippet, so you understand what I'm doing. Okay, so and you can click on here and check. Okay. Everybody in that column has a, a URL. Everything in this column has where they work. Okay. Right. And so if I did have a URL, if I had a profile URL, I could actually set up a crawler, but in this case, I don't. So 
but I did want to show you because I, I typically go fast with this stuff, kind of what the process is in regards to setting this up. Cause I do kind of go fast. So if you need to pause this and watch it back, that's what I had to do a couple of times. Oh, and also I meant to add this in. We are hiring sorcerers and recruiters right now. So if you guys are looking for a role, ping me. I think everybody is hiring sorcerers and recruiters right now. I'm just glad that my live stream is working. That was like my goal. 2020. Look at that. I can add taglines. Isn't that great? Oh, okay. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Stanford, Scraper. I don't know, something general. Save it. I can save this publicly because I pay for data miner. And it's gonna be some it's gonna be a little bit different. I have to find it again. And you'll see it's 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 in my queue. So as you can see, let me pull up. So same sort of stuff, just went a different way in finding it. And it looks, yeah, so it looks very similar because I mapped it the same way. But so two ways to get the information. Now, the other thing is I'm gonna scrape this. I'll come back to it. Scrape. So I got 61 rules and I can download this to a CSV file or I can save it as I'll have to find an example of a, of a crawler. Maybe I can do that here. Maybe if they have links, I can do that here. Okay. So I, I have it sitting right here. Let's pull this out. And I mean, that's just one example of a pipeline. Okay. Of course I have to shortlist this. I'll have to go through the, these, um, and do some more research, probably find their LinkedIn profiles or something like that. Because there's not just any really good aggregators to help us do that yet. Um, hey, Sarah, we are looking, they can, they don't, we, we're looking for more junior folks too. So send them my way and I can see if they have any kind of recruiting experience or TA experience, send them my way and I'll, I'll see what I can do to help them out. um yeah so if if you're just started with scraping i would say use instant data scraper it, it's hit or miss and as you can see with this conference list i already looked through some of these like if i look through the 2017 conference they got wise and stopped putting the uh attendees in here but they still have the 2015 ones the 2014 ones And so this is not as clear of a, a spreadsheet, but there's 73 people in here. We can still add those. And, you know, like, I just copy and pasted. Where's my spreadsheet? Technically, copy and pasting is scraping too. So... I've got my list here that I've that I created through data miner. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I just want my spreadsheet. Okay. I'm talking to myself. So I've got I've got the information here and I can break this out later. Okay. But copy and paste it. I have more names that I can research and go through or use enrichment based. Um tools to access and, and pull more information out. And let's see how far this goes back. 2013, we don't got anything. We got an agenda list. Attendees for 2012. You see where I'm going with this? Oh, here's more. Okay. So I used, this is the third method of, of 
extracting information. People forget about copy, copy and paste, but it still works. Um, let's see what the last, I think there's one more conference or a couple more conferences. Oh, I don't want to do that. 2011, where are we 2011? Nope, nothing, but you, you know what, with 2011, and the agendas is something I didn't go through. Let me see. Agendas. Some of the agendas have links to them. Oh, it's not available. Oh, darn. Oh, that's a Google Doc? Do they have them on Google Docs now? Let's take, take a look at this agenda real quick. Oh, that looks like Sketch. That looks like Sketch. Is that Sketch? I don't want to sign up. I just want to look. I want to look at the session. Google Docs. Sometimes you just got to dig in and see what's in here. Hopefully I'm still broadcasting so you can see this. It looks like nothing's in this. Oh, I can request access. Maybe not. It doesn't look like there's anything in there. Um, What is this called? It's called... LDCX. That looks like schedule or Kuba. It might be because that's a long... Well, no, that's 2019. Yeah, so, I mean, you could go down a rabbit hole a little bit, like I did. But the main thing is, I've got these attendees through all these conferences, through Stanford, which is generally around where we a lot of them are from stanford which is generally around where we're we're hiring right now and my other computer went off it needs some it needs some attention but um shoot i've got a call right now so i have to jump off <laughs> but, but yeah hopefully that helps you guys because sometimes when, when i'm navigating through some of this um it's it's really mechanical for me, but I, I found this and I was like, I gotta share this because I've got what like several hundred people now that I can go through 183. And that's how I that's how I build pipelines a lot of times. So of course, of course I have to clean this up and enrich it, but I mean that's those are two pipelines I didn't have previously. So yeah, thanks for joining on and commenting to everybody. Um yeah, I'll try to do more of these. I'll try to do one of these tomorrow if I have time. But uh, thanks for joining and and yeah. Um, see you on the next one.